To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chased in and hastens his will to make known. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name. He forget not his own. Relating to the natural word. August 12th. Appreciate Earth's natural, quiet beauty. Who has divided a channel for the overflowing water, or a path for the thunderbolt, to cause it to rain on a land where there is no one, a wilderness in which there is no man, to satisfy the desolate waste, and cause to spring forth the growth of tender grass? Job 38, verses 25 to 27. He who laid the foundation of the earth, who garnished the heavens and marshaled the stars in their order, he who clothed the earth with a living carpet and beautified it with loving flowers of every shade and variety, would have his children appreciate his work and delight in the simple, quiet beauty with which he had adorned their earthly home. Christ sought to draw the attention of his disciples away from the artificial to the natural. If God so clothed the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Why did not our heavenly Father carpet the earth with brown or gray? He chose the color that was most restful, the most acceptable to the senses, how it cheers the heart and refreshes the weary spirit to look upon the earth, clad in its garments of living green, without the covering the air would be filled with dust, and the earth would appear like a desert. Every spire of grass, every opening bud of blooming flower is a token of God's love and should teach us a lesson of faith and trust in Him. Christ called our attention to their natural lovingness and assures us that the most gorgeous array of the greatest king that ever wielded an earthly scepter was not equal to that worn by the humblest flower. I would present before you Christ and Him crucified. Give Him your heart's best affections. Give Him your intellect, it belongs to Him. Give Him your talents of means and of influence. They were only lent to you for improvement. Jesus laid aside His robes of royalty, stepped down from His eternal throne, clothed with His divinity, with humanity, and for our sakes became poor, that we through His poverty might become rich. Rich in money, in lands, in bank stock? No, that we might secure eternal riches. There is no salvation except that which comes through Christ. He came to earth to lift up the fallen. With his human arm, he encircled the race, while with his divine arm, he grasped the throne of the infinite, thus connecting finite humans to the infinite God and uniting earth to heaven. We all do extol thee, thou leader triumphant, and pray that thou still our defender wilt be. Let thy congregation escape tribulation. Thy name be ever praised, O Lord, make us free. Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. Immerse yourself in the Word of God and His creation, and you will be truly blessed.